Hello everyone. I hope you are doing great. In today's video, we are going to see how can we generate SVG diagrams with the help of Plot.ai. AI. But before we starting, you do watch my previous video in which I talked about how can we generate SVG diagrams with the help of ChatGPT 4.0. If you are new here, I am Asan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment down this video. Let's start today's video without any further delay. So we are going to use the same prompts that we did that we used in our previous video. So the first prompt that we used was generating a cactus. Let's try with plot.ai. So the prompt should be please generate an SVG of a cactus out in the desert on a sunny day. Let's see the results. So it has generated the SVG code. Let's just try to use this code. And I'm going to use our previous folder here. So this is the cactus and change the extension of the file paste the code that cloud generated. Now open the file and see the results. So here it is that generated by cloud.ai. It looks pretty much similar to the one that generated by ChatGPT 4.0. You can see that the sun is here. The color used for the path is just the same as ChatGPT and the design is pretty much similar to the previous one. So let's just ask to enhance this thing and you have to type great, but please now generate a much more detailed image using gradients and paths. Let's see what are the results now. It has generated the code. Let's copy the code and paste it right here. Change the extension of the file and then open it with notepad to paste the code and see the results by opening it. So here you can see that it is looking very much better than the ChatGPT one. It has added the gradients and changed the shape of the path too. And it also added some holes like in deserts. And here is the sun. And there is also some type of gradient in the sky too. And if I zoom in to the cactus, you can see that the gradient is also right here. But the cactus design is not looking very much great than the previous one. Actually, the previous one was also not looking good. But yes, you can see that it enhanced the previous version. Let's move forward. And I'm going to type here, please generate an SVG of a cactus in the desert on a sunny day. Please make it as detailed as possible. Use vibrant colors, use dramatic lightning. I want that. I want to feel like I'm there. I want something shockingly beautiful. Let's see the result with this prompt. So it has generated the prompt response and let's copy the code and create a new file to paste that code. Paste the code here and then open it. So here is the enhanced version and it is very much better than the two versions that it generated. So the first version was like this and the second and the third one. And you can see the efforts by cloud.ai and I would appreciate the efforts because it is very much great than the ChatGPT one and the previous two versions generated by this. So you can see the detailed it added the detail as much as possible in the sun, in the cactus, in the desert, in the sky. You can see that the gradients are used, the vibrant colors are used right here. Let's try to create another thing. We are going to generate app, I, app UI icon. So your prompt should be, would you generate the SVG code for Mac toolbar icon that toggles the selected item preferences pane on and off? So basically, it is the setting gear icon that I'm asking for. So let's see what it generates. It has generated this and let's see the results. Open it with notepad, then paste the code and see the results. So you can see that the app UI icon and I won't say that it is pretty much great because ChatGPT also failed to generate the app UI icon and because it was just generating the path was too long. So here it has generated the app UI icon, but it is not pretty much great. Let's try to do another experiment. Let's try to generate th the house. So your prompt should be please generate an SVG code of a house icon. You can use parts if you want. And let's see the results by cloud.ai. So here's a small code generated by this. Let's paste this code in the notepad file. Change the extension. And then just paste the code by notepad and see the results. So here is the house icon generated by cloud.ai. So it is pretty much great. 
and JTPT also generated a greater version of this house icon. So I would say that both versions are great. And here I would like to give it a try to the previous prompt. And we were trying to generate a setting gear icon. So I would use another prompt. And this time the prompt should be please generate an SVG code of a gear icon. Please make it detailed as possible. You can use paths if you want. And let's see the results. So it has generated the code. Let's just copy this code and paste this here in the notepad file. Open it with notepad and then just see the results. So you can see that it is pretty much great. And I didn't expect this version of the gear icon. And you can see the results. It added the detail as much as possible. So I think this is the great version generated by Claude. Let's just try to generate app icons as we tried in ChatGPT. So your prompt should be, please generate the SVG code for an app icon for iCircuit app, an app that enables you to draw and simulate electronic circuits. The icon should have a nice gradient background and fit well in the iOS home screen. You can use parts if you want. Let's see the results. So it has generated the code. Let's try this code. Open it with notepad and paste the code right here and see the results. So here it is, the app icon. And I would say that it is not bad. It is looking great for the icon that I asked for, for the electronic icon. And it is bet very much better than the ChatGPT version. So here I think Cloud.ai is better in generating SVG diagrams and icons for apps and for the development of website icons. And you can compare both of them by just watching my previous video too, which, in which I generated SVG icons using ChatGPT 4.0. So this was all about today's video. If you like this video, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when I publish the next video. Thank you guys for watching.